So I have the distinct pleasure this morning of introducing uh, you all to Porter Holly. Sometimes it's the unexpected lessons that can teach us the most. From a college graduate to a doctor has a lot of stormy moments. So how can one woman's disease... And there were two little kids who looked at me. I terrorized them just looking at me. Transform an entire classroom. She completely um, surprised me and uh, changed my view. And they will remember her um, probably for the rest of their life. Tonight, a lesson in patience. One unforgettable class, one remarkable patient. When I was a teenager and just starting to date, the prospect of asking a girl out was pretty daunting. As the father of three girls, I found out much later on that the experience can be even more terrifying for the girl, wondering whether some boy that she likes is ever going to call and ask if she'd like to go out. Sometimes during that early stage of adolescent desperation, you rely on a friend to act as an intermediary. Occasionally, you'd even agree to go out on a date with someone you'd never met, the dreaded blind date. And I remember, among boys at least, the worst thing you could hear about this person you didn't know and had never seen was that she had a great personality. Everybody understood the code. It meant that your date wasn't very pretty. The great personality part might even be true. She could be smart, funny, kind, gentle, all the things that one human being ought to value in another. But the fact is that very few boys could get beyond external appearances. A lot of boys never get over that, even after they've grown into men. This program tonight is about getting beyond external appearances. Not in the social context, though. Robert Krolwich has brought us a truly wonderful story about medical students, young men and women studying to be doctors. They, too, it turns out, have to get past external appearances when they first meet a patient. And for quite a few years now, first-year medical students up at Harvard have been assisted in this learning process by an extraordinary woman with a great personality. It's an ordinary Thursday just before noon and this is a lecture hall at Harvard Medical School. These students don't know it yet, but in a very few minutes, the entire first year class, 160 students, will be introduced to a woman that their dean, Dan Fetterman, says is the kind of person you just don't forget. They will remember her um, probably the rest of their lives. I can remember patients like this that I saw um, 48 years ago, and this will probably stay with them for the rest of their lives. Her name is Porter Colley. She's now 73 years old. She has a medical condition that's really only skin deep, but from a distance, you can't see exactly what's wrong. Well, I was sitting in the back row. So from my vision, I didn't see her bumps originally until I came down the steps. And so I... Well, you didn't think she was perfectly normal looking, did you? I mean, from where I was sitting, I couldn't see all her bumps and lumps. And I did pass by her very quickly in the beginning, and it was striking. The lumps and bumps that student Shruti Mahalinga talks about, those bumps cover Porter's body, and when you look closely, she is, well, she's very hard to look at, which is the point. She completely um, surprised me and uh, changed my view. I mean, I saw, I did see her for the first time, and I thought, oh my goodness, how can she live, you know? Here I am perfectly healthy, and I can walk around getting upset for some unnecessary reason. I could see myself wanting to hide away, you know. So I have the distinct pleasure this morning of introducing uh, you all to Porter Polly, who has asked that we call her Porter. Um, this lecture, led by first-year student Tom Richards, is designed to show a condition that might be shocking or scary, but then they have to teach themselves how to see through the condition to the person inside. 
And this isn't easy. And you can't learn this kind of thing from books. A friend of ours was here this week and said medical school is not about learning a lot. Medical school is a transformation. And I love the phrase because the students go through a transformation in the time they're here. Back when I asked her beforehand if she was at all nervous, she said no, and I said I was. So. <laughs> there is a kind of alchemy in this process, and um, it's, it is a transformation. Um, <clears throat> Porter, why don't we... Well, sorry, go first, ahead. I want you to feel free to ask any kinds of questions except medical questions. I can after that. Mm -hmm. And after this part is over, I have what I call show and tell and I will strip to the waist and you can have hands-on experience and, and see what, what it's really like. Great. Uh, we, we don't really know any medical questions to ask. <laughs> <laughs> After a confession like that, I figured, well, I'd better ask the dean. First of all, what's she got? She has a hereditary disorder called neurofibromatosis. N F. Lots of lumps and bumps. There are lots of lumps and bumps. How do you get it? Uh, you either inherit the gene from one of your parents, or as you are formed, there's a mutation, a sudden change in a gene that controls this function. Why don't you take us for a moment back to the first time that you were diagnosed with, with NF? Um, and talk a little bit about what that was like. I had a problem that my family physician couldn't determine what it was. So he sent me to a doctor at the Children's Hospital in Philadelphia, who immediately, as soon as he diagnosed me, and that was in 1938, he said I had neurofibromatosis. Very little was known about it then. But he told my parents to let me do whatever I want to do. You know, I swung from tree limbs like monkeys and walked fences and did all those kinds of things. So it, we're passing around a set of photos um, which, uh, which Porter brought today, which she asked us to take a look. started? Yes, it started. Okay. So um, y you all will see when you see the photos that uh, at, at 20 years of age, um, Porter had, had no real visible manifestations of tumors, and so this has been a very progressive disease. I don't know if you saw her picture when she was 20. I did. She looked like a movie star, didn't she? Can you talk a it's, little bit about what that was like to go from not being able to see anything to uh, being able to... When I was in college, 